the next question we are going to learn is Keske se? Keske se? It means what is this? Keske se? So I have written down a conversation which we are going to try and translate. Vincent says, Keske se? What is this? C'est un palais. It is a palace. So what is it? Is it a palace? Lagid says, we oui. say la palais du roi. It is the palace of the king. So the question here is, what is this? Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it that it is? It is what is it? C'est un palais. Is it a palace? We oui. c'est le palais du roi. It is the palace of the king. So, if you are asked this question, your answer will begin with se. Then, Lagit says, Isi, here, Sit l'avenue Mohammed. It is the avenue, that is the street of Mohammed. Set. So, that is how your answer will begin for the question, what is this? Vincent says, Set une belle avenue. It is a beautiful avenue. Then Lagid says, Ici, here, c'est un beau quartier. It is a beautiful loca locality. Quartier is locality. C'est la quartier des Zudeas. It is the locality of the Udeas. So, the question we are going to ask here is Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is this? And your answer will begin with C'est It is And your answer So once again Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est un palais? Oui C'est la palais de roi Ici C'est l'avenue Mohammed C'est une belle avenue Ici, c'est un beau quartier. C'est la quartier des Udeas. So, now we know how to ask this question and how to answer this question. So, now we will move on to the next part. Next, we are going to see how to answer this question. I told you it begins with se. So, c'est un restaurant. It is a restaurant. Or, Set yun ru. It is a street. Set yun ru. So now you must have noticed these words. So these are the articles. A, yun, and de. So the articles a, yun, and de. These are the indefinite articles. It means it is not pointing out to something very precise. It is a restaurant. Set a restaurant. And when do we use a, you, and they? A comes before a noun that is masculine. You comes before a noun that is feminine. And they comes before a noun that is in the plural form. And because this is in the plural form, this also changes. Saint. This is the être conjugation. So when it is in the plural form, it becomes son. Saint des rues. These are some streets. So this is how we use the indefinite article. Un, yun, and de. Next, moving on to the definite article. Now, if we want to say something precise, particular, for pour précise, c'est le café demi lune. It is the café demi lune. So, in this case, we wouldn't say un, we would use le. So, here we make use of the definite articles le. 
ल एंड ले so when do we use these articles l comes before a noun that is masculine la comes before a noun that is feminine and le comes before nouns that are in the plural form so set la cafe de mi lion cafe cafe is the masculine form so le se sont so this is the same because our noun is in the plural form se sont les rue du quartier des rue yeah so because it is a particular place we use the definite article le and we use le because it is in the noun is in the plural form so what have we learned here we have learned how to answer the question qu'est-ce que c'est what is it we would answer with either c'est or ce sont depending on whether the noun is singular or plural and depending on our answer we will use either a definite or an indefinite article so the examples of indefinite articles are set un restaurant set une rue ce sont des rues and precise for precise answers we use the definite article set le cafe de million ce sont les rues ce sont les rues du quartier des rues yeah so we have learned how to use the definite and the indefinite article in sentences and also how to answer this question